Hello friends, my name is Jay and today I am going to show you how you can create realistic fire shader inside Blender. So first of all, press X and delete the default cube. Now go to the cycles render. We will go to the render setting. I am going to change the resolution to 1280 and 720 pixel. I will check on the border. In the sampling setting, I will change the preview sample to 10. In the light paths, I will change the minimum value of transparency and bounce to 1. Now press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Now click on the smooth setting. Now go to the objects, quick effects and click on quick smoke. Now select the smoke domain and scale it. Now select the sphere, go to the top view and move the sphere to the bottom right corner. Now go to the front view and move the sphere to the bottom. Now select the smoke domain and go to the physics properties. Now click on dissolve. Put 15 in dissolve time. Go to the smoke flame and increase the vorticity to 2. Click on Smoke Adaptive Domain and Smoke High Resolution. For the noise, put 5 in the strength. Now select the sphere and for the flow type, select Fire plus Smoke. Now press Shift A and add a force field. Click on wind. Now move the wind force to the bottom right corner of the smoke domain. Now we will increase the strength of wind force to 10. Now adjust the rotation of the wind force so that the smoke will travel in 45 degree. Now select the lamp. Go to the lamp properties. Click on use node and convert the lamp to sun lamp. And decrease the strength to 2. Now go to the side view and move the sun here and rotate it. Now press Ctrl Alt 0 to set the camera. Now click on the lock camera into view and adjust the camera. Now split the window. Go to the node editor. Now select the smoke domain. Here you can see the default smoke shader created by the quick smoke effect. Now we will adjust some of the nodes in this shader. Move the attribute and add a brightness and contrast shader. Now select attribute, brightness and contrast and multiply node. Press shift D to duplicate them. 
in the attribute change the name to flame so that we can use the flame attribute of the smoke domain now we will add an emission shader now connect the output of multiplier shader to the input of strength of the emission shader now connect the output of the emission shader to the add shader now we will add a converter color ramp now connect the factor output of attribute node to the factor input of color ramp now connect the output of color ramp to the color input of emission shader now control click on the color ramp to add three color swatches now select the first color and choose a pure white color now select the second color and choose a yellowish color now select the third color and choose orange color now choose the fourth color and choose a dark red color now select the last black color and move it toward right now select the dark red color and move it toward left now we will add a color gamma node now also add a hue saturation node now we will put one in the brightness attribute and three in the contrast attribute of the smoke put 10 to the multiplier node put 1.1 in saturation value for the gamma put 1.5 for the contrast of fire put 2 and for the multiplier put 40 if you go to the render view you can see that we have created a realistic fire shader I want to change some of the settings so put 2.5 in the smoke intensity 15 in the multiplier and 60 in the fire intensity multiplier now select the sphere and go to the physics setting click on the use texture select the texture now go to the texture setting and select the texture now for the texture type select clouds in the color setting increase the contrast to 2 in the cloud setting decrease the size to 0.1 If you go to the first frame and play the animation, you can see that our fire is looking more realistic. Now select the sphere and go to the physics setting. Now put 100 to the end frame. Now go to the first frame and go to the smoke flow advanced setting. Press I to insert a keyframe in the offset of the texture. Now go to the end frame and increase the offset value to 5. Press I to insert a keyframe. Now if you go to the first frame and play the animation, you can see that the fire is more realistic than before. Now select the smoke domain. Press A to deselect all. Now select all of the nodes and press Ctrl G to create a group node.
now we are going to create a group node for the fire shader We want to control the density of the smoke, so connect the multiplier value to the group input and rename it to smoke density. We also want to control the smoke intensity, so connect the contrast to the group input and rename it to smoke intensity. We also want to control the fire intensity, so connect the contrast value to the group input and rename it to fire intensity. We also want to control the intensity of the fire, so connect the input value of the multiplier node to the group input and rename it fire density. Now connect the gamma to group input and rename it to fire gamma. Now connect the hue to the group input and rename it to fire hue. Now press tab and go to the node editor. Now rename this node group to fire shader. So this is it guys. Now save the file so that you can use this fire shader to the other projects. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.